Hello guys, this is module one of the course, right? Um, and the first step to monetizing your, your account is basically you need to find a way to make your, your brand stand out from the crowd. Because frankly, a lot of the brands on X are just complete crap, right? They just look awful. And if you can't separate yourself from them, there is literally no way that you're gonna monetize your account. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to make your brand stand above all of these uh, these other accounts uh, and help you on that monetization journey. This is your sort of foundation uh, of, of turning your account into a, into a cash machine. Okay, firstly, I want to break down a few misconceptions of what a brand is and, and tell you what it isn't and then, and then move into telling you what a brand actually is, okay? So, most people completely misunderstand what a brand is. They think it's like a logo or a color scheme or the co even the content you post. That None of that has anything to do with a brand, right? A brand is about behavior change, okay? It is about teaching people how to transform their life and live a better life. And the, the way I will explain that is by referencing someone that you all know, that's Dan Coe. Now, if I asked a lot of you, what is Dan's brand about, you would probably say something like writing or, or human consciousness or one person businesses. That isn't what Dan's brand is about. Dan's brand is selling a different way of life, right? He's selling a way of life where you and not society holds the control, right? Writing, human consciousness, one person business models, they're all a part of that but they're the mediums through which he achieved that transformation. It's not what his brand is selling. His brand is selling a different way of life. And that's an incredibly important distinction to make because if you want to build a powerful brand for yourself, then you need to start focusing on the transformation that you're offering to these people. It's about getting them from A to B and the path in which you, you take them there. Okay. So, we're going to dive a bit into that transformation now, and we're going to talk about your your unique brand positioning. Now, this is something that you hear a lot, unique positioning. And what does that actually mean? Well, all it means is the transformation you're offering and the unique path that you take uh, someone from A to B. And what I want to stress is it's totally okay to offer the same outcomes as someone else. And if you look at what I'm doing now, teaching you how to monetize your brand, there's a million other people doing the same thing, but it's the way that I'm doing it that makes me unique, right? My brand is all about common sense, it's about simplicity, it's about removing all of the bullshit that all the gurus are preaching and, and still getting you to the same result, but doing it in a much more simplistic and common sense way. And that's my unique positioning in the space, and that's what makes me stand out. Now, I can't obviously tell you exactly how to make your brand stand out without talking to you on an individual basis. And if you want help with that, you can obviously DM me, DM me brand on Twitter, and I'll help you with your specific situation. But what I can give you is some really good advice, which has helped me do this for myself. And that is, firstly, identify one core skill that you can monetize, right? Like something like sales, marketing, Ghostwriting, I've given a load of examples here. Um, just pick one. Don't try and focus on copywriting and ghostwriting and video editing. Just pick one and focus and hone all of your energy in on that at the start. Because the more focused you can be, the more you can now one skill, the more chance you've got standing out and the more chance you've got of being the best in your space. And please don't tell me you don't have any skills to monetize because you definitely do, right? If you're writing on X every day, go strike. If you are growing at any sort of appreciable appreciable rate on X, then teach other people how to grow faster. If you have some sort of background in software or video editing or graphic design, teach people about that and offer free uh, and offer freelance work. You can all either you either all have a monetizable skill already, or you can learn one in 60 days. And I know that because. 10 weeks ago, I didn't have a clue what copywriting even meant. And now I've got like 3,000 people asking me my opinion on it. So you can absolutely learn one of these skills in, in a very short amount of time. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to pick an eternal market. 
Now, there are four of these. There's health, wealth, relationships and happiness. Now, you just pick the one that you find the most enjoyment in. If you're into fitness, pick health. If you're a brand consultant, pick wealth. It's completely up to you on this point. Now, once you've got that market, you are going to drill down in, into a specific sub market of that. Right. If you've chosen health, you might focus on getting fat dads into shape. If you've chosen wealth, you might focus on, I don't know, uh, email marketing for software companies. It's completely up to you again. But the, the important point is that you need to drill into a niche so that uh, you stand out more and you're not appealing to this broad audience where you don't really target anyone in particular. And for the people that say you shouldn't niche down, shut the fuck up. You need to niche down at the start and you can expand as you grow. OK, otherwise you'll just get lost in the crowd. I, I promise you, you if you don't niche down at the start, you will not succeed in this in, in monetizing your brand. There is no chance. Um, now. Just to stand you out a little bit more, you need to pick one intrinsic interest of yours. This could be like the gym, spirituality, maybe it's house or techno music or something like that. Like, that's what I like. Um, and then you combine all of these three things, your monetizable skill, your sub market and your intrinsic interest. And that gives you a much more unique um, brand image. Uh, and the example I've, I've given here is what's more memorable than Dave, the marketing guy? It's Dave, the marketing guy who helps people launch digital courses on personal branding and does powerlifting in his spare time. Right. Instantly, so much more unique, stands out so much more. And you combine all of these things and it gives one unique person, i.e. you. The next thing you need to do is you need to create what I call a brand mantra. Now, what is a brand mantra? Well, it's simply a single word or a catchphrase which people learn to associate with your brand. Here's a few examples. Audrey Lowe, hers is community. Kieran Drew, he's got magnetic writing. I've got common sense. Now, this is important because this is where you offer your transformation, right? If you if you look at my my brand mantra of common sense, it tells people how I'm getting them from A to B. It's about it's about simplicity. It's about removing complexity. It's about making their life as easy as possible while I offer them this transformation. That's what makes me unique and that's what's making me stand out. Right. And the other important thing is that once you've nailed down a catchphrase like this, it gives you this anchor which you can tie all of your content back to. Right. So if you look at any of my tweets, you'll notice that in most of them, I mention the phrase common sense or simplicity or something to that effect because it gives my brand a consistent image. And it's super, it's super, super helpful for forming a clear image in other people's heads of who you are and what your brand represents. And I can give you one more example of this. So a guy I worked with, really, really high performing guy. Uh, he's got multiple online businesses in incredible shape. But he's also a really good writer and he's also a dad. So we came up with the brand match for him, one in a million dad, because it, it encapsulates how rare of a find it is to, to find a guy who's got all this amazing stuff for him going for him, but he's also a dad. Um, so you need to create something like that for yourself. That's a simple catchphrase or a simple word that you want associated with your brand. And it will really, really help you stand out. Next thing, just write a clear bio, right? Don't try to overcomplicate this. Don't be one of those guys that puts in words like consciousness and flow, and intersection, because you're just trying to be Dan Co. Let's let's be real that's that's what you're trying to do and it sticks it, it just looks pretentious and and it confuses people all you need to do with your bio is literally this start with your brand mantra then tell people what you do then say who you do it for and then say what makes you different to everyone else so you can see that with my brand uh, my bio here right i've got my brand mantra the common sense creator i've got what i do I'll show you how to monetize your brand to multiple four figures a month in under 90 days. Right. Very, very simple. Very, very clean. And then I say without all the BS, that's why I'm different. That's all you've got to do too. just literally follow that pattern. Um, next, just create a really simple banner that basically repeats your bio. Right. You just have your brand mantra in big, bold letters and then a simple sentence underneath which says 
exactly what you do and who you do it for and why why you're different. It's literally a repetition of your bio is how I think like how I think about it. And don't spend days crafting this immaculate banner because what you're going to do is you're going to go and change it later in two days anyway. So it's going to be it's just going to waste your time. Just create a really simple design and basically repeat your bio is is all I advise. Now there are a couple more things that will uh, take your banner to the next level. Um, Pick a color scheme which makes sense based on uh, your, the brand image that you want to cultivate. So you see how mine is black and white. Well, that's obviously uh, ties into the, my my idea of simplicity. Um, whereas if yours was a really colorful and, and your brand is built around, I don't know, bringing joy to people's lives, you might have a really colorful banner. It needs to make sense for you, basically. Um, and yeah, that's that's kind of that's kind of it when it comes to the, brand, uh, the banner. People really overcomplicate it. Um, the next thing you do to make yourself stand out, just pick a profile picture which fits your vibe, right? Show your face clearly. But other than that, you can kind of do with it what you want because people will tell you, oh, you need to be you need to look friendly in it. But if you're not a friendly guy, if you're really stern, then you should show that in your profile because that's the people you want to attract. You want to attract people that are like you. You don't want to have to put up this pretense and pretend to be someone you're not because that's going to make your life miserable. So if you're a moody fucker, just show that in your profile picture because you'll attract other people that are like you and they're the people that will end up buying your stuff. OK, um, now the final part of all of this is just going to be your pinned tweet. This is really important because when someone clicks on your profile, it's one of the first things that they look at. Um, and there's two ways you can go about this, right? You can either showcase like some results that you've gotten for yourself or a client. Uh, this is my preferred way of doing it because I think it just immediately presents you as an authority in your space and it shows you actually know, you've got a fucking clue what you know what you're doing. So if you look at my pin tweet, it's uh, it's a case study of how I got 450 followers um, in, the, in the space of 48 hours based on a lead magnet, which I've built. And that immediately establishes me as someone that knows what I'm doing, which is pretty important if you want someone to pay you for stuff. Um, or the other way you can go is you can tell a personal story, right? If you've got a fucking sick uh, personal story that you can relate to people that's going to make them like want to know about your brand, then tell them about that, right? When I first found Kieran Drew's profile, his, his pin tweet was about um, how he broke his neck when he was younger and that led him to finding his passion for writing. Um, so, if, so just find a, a really cool story from your life that you can relay and, and, and tell in a really compelling way. And that's going to help people buy into your brand. OK, so that's all you've got to do to make yourself stand out on Twitter, guys. It's actually really fucking simple. I don't know why people overcomplicate it. Just find a unique positioning using the, set, the steps we described above. Create a brand mantra. Write a clear bio, including that, that, that brand mantra. Design a simple but effective banner. Take a profile pic, which actually shows who you are as a person. And then just write a fucking really sick pinned tweet. That's literally it. All you've got to do to make your brand stand out on Twitter. OK, and now we've talked about that. I'm now going to tell you how to establish authority in that niche that you have built for yourself. OK, and that's going to be module two of this course.